Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to um, Construction Simulator um, on the PS5. I'm quite surprised that this is on the Unity engine because it plays extremely well and most most games on the Unity engine play really bad but anyway, let's see if we can kick off from where we left off. There we are, Lemon Lord in the Noodle Cowboys so we should be able to carry on from where we left off hopefully which is we have to take the uh, flat back truck over to his friend's motel I think so yeah this is exactly where we left off so we're going here Um, camera, here we go, right, I hope everyone's well, again I'm working again today so this will not be a long video, oh there's those stupid things again on the road, um, let me double check to make sure if there is any way of turning those off. Uh, might be under um, gameplay. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, I'll do that to make Russell happy. Uh, automatic. Navigation assistant. Uh, arrows on display on the road. This might be it. Let's have a little look. See if that works. Yay. Look, we got rid of them. They're really irritating. It's like, because I got down the bottom left-hand corner. Look, I've got a sat-nav. Surely you're supposed to give way to me there, mate. Okay. I think we were supposed to turn off there. But what we can do is turn off here because we can... No, we'll carry on this way. It's all right. We've already discovered that building. This is where we're meant to go, I think, down here. Not here, next one down a bit more. Here we go. We can can we park in there? Okay. We're not actually meant to be going in there, okay. we'll do we will uh, park up here somewhere without killing a uh, hap here we go if we park up here we're not allowed in there apparently and talk to our mate here 
Old Joe wants us to pretty up his forecourt a little. I don't foresee any big problems. Joe's also been after a new sign on the motel roof for a while now, something that travelers can see clearly from the highway. As it happens, there's a hotel in town that's about to be torn down. That sly fox Joe picked up the neon sign letters cheap, and a crane operator on the construction site opposite owes me a favor. Drive by there later to pick up the letters. But first, let's take care of the forecourt. I have a roller ready for you. So get in and start compacting. Okay. So first of all, we've got to compact the floor. This is why we weren't allowed on there. There we go. Oh, this is going to be terrible, isn't it? So how do we get this to go down? Compacting. Jesus, this is terrible, this thing, just there. But we'll just try and do a line. And we can always come back and do that line. So we need to... Turn off that compacting while we turn around. This thing's handles so bad because you can't turn the camera. Uh, you have to move the machine forward to turn the camera. Um, is there a way I can do it on here? You can zoom in and out. Oh, here we go. Uh, so we do that. Okay. So we've done a little square. So we go over this side. Okay. Now we can... I want to put the camera back to what I had on. No. No. That's it. Doesn't look like you have to be exact. You just have to get the majority of it done. It controls like a worm. <laughs> if I ever had a, a worm simulator, I think this is how it would work. 
Oh my god, I'm all over the place, look. Compactor disabled. That's because I've gone off onto the road, that's fine. Right, I've got to do those two little bits there because that's driving me mad. So we're gonna pop that back on. No. That. Yeah, it does that when you uh, go off the um, the grid, it turns itself off, which is pretty cool. Now we should be able to turn it on here. Is that done? Okay. So we've done that. Now we've got to enter our flat pack truck again. Some of these jobs don't require you to do it all by the looks of it. Okay, good. Now head over to the hotel and get the letters so we can remove them. Okay. Now we go up here, we're going to be doing a right up ahead. Makes a bit more of a challenge with that, um, that stuff on the road off. I like it's got quite a few people on the street, which is pretty cool. They all seem to walk in the same direction, which is a bit weird. But um, as long as they don't cross the road like in the taxi life. So we're going over to a hotel, which is going to be demolished because the letterings on the roof are no longer required and I can take them over to the motel. Okay, this looks like we're out of town for this one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a bit of pop-up going on. Uh, which is weird, because hey, this game's been out a while now. So I'm surprised that it's, that sort of stuff hasn't been sort of fixed. Whoa, that looks really cool. Wow, that's quite impressive, isn't it? There's me old bobblehead, look. Okay, need to pop my camera back to normal. Off we go. Yeah, that's quite impressive. I'm in a CAT CT660.
I remember when cat boots were all the rage. Do you remember in like the 90s and that? In the early 2000s, people used to buy cat boots. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird pop-up going on, but say so, which I'm surprised because the game's been out a, a while now. There's a couple of season passes. It looks like to me because I think it's like it's like a construction simulator two, construction simulator three. I don't actually think they're actual games. I think they're they might be on some consoles, but here I think you just buy like the year season pass. So once you've got the base game, you just buy the season pass per year. So, um, well, looks like we're entering the city. So we better watch our speed. Whoa, okay, mate. Well, I think I left it just before it turned to red, so hopefully I'll be alright. So it looks like we're going to be turning left here. Um, maybe down there where that uh, construction bit is here. Okay, we've got a park up here. Okay. Park construction vehicle. I'm still not in there properly. <laughs> I didn't even move. Okay. So this is the... Uh, you're joking me. I'm going to be doing that. Enter the crane. Guys. Uh, how... Jesus. They don't waste any time, do they? Alright, I'm right at the top already. Okay. Right. Crane uses um, construction site lift and light, medium loads. Okay, I think it's going to probably be the same. So we need to move the crane. So if we bring that down as far as we can go as you can see that we've got letters here that we're going to be removing off So that's down, right? That's up. So how do we move the... Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got one. Right, so now I suppose we better try and find where our truck is. 
Okay, our truck's over there. Whoa! Okay, so I think we need to... I don't think we need to move the crane so far over there, Joe. Bring the crane back a bit. I think what we need to do is just move... Right, okay. Let's see how far away we are from the truck. Okay, we've done one, we've got four to get, another four. Okay, so we need to bring that out more. Wow, what an expert, straight away, look at that. Get down towards the truck. Okay, we're near the truck, so if we go down, we should lower the camera a bit better. Right, we need to move this around a bit more. This <laughs> is pretty cool, isn't it, guys? Oh, dear. Let's get down, and then we can maybe line it up. Okay, two down, three more to go. Should we have a little look at the uh, um, other view? See what it looks like on the inside. Jesus, okay, so we'll bring this up. I don't know if we're gonna get it done in here. We'll have a look, shall we? No, it's impossible to do it in there. So we need to go back to the external.
Well, I went far off. <laughs> I was way off. Right, okay, up we come. We come down a bit more. So some jobs cannot be done with that camera. I can't even see my truck. The camera angles are a lot to be desired sometimes, but we're, we're down. So now we need to find where we're going to be putting it. Okay, so what we'll need to do is come forward. Can we turn it? So I expect we've got to do all these and then take them to the hotel and then put them up. And that'll probably be the end of the video once we've done that. Okay. It does zoom in for you when you're getting close to where you need to be. Up a bit. Can't appear to turn these around, which is a little bit annoying. But it does help you a little bit if you get close enough. So we've got one more to load up. Just give this one more go. It was pretty smart though, didn't it guys? the graphics so we can see if we can have a little look around uh, if I go to camera let's see if we yeah we can look so that's pretty cool I suppose you could do it like this <coughs> if you take your time Right, so if we bring this out. We come down.
yeah, it's impossible to do it in that angle because you can't see what's going on. But okay, so we come out. So we need to come up slightly. Jesus. All right, mate. Okay, we got you. Let's all calm down. Let's all calm down. Right, so we're taking him back towards the truck. Okay, and we can come down now. That's up, Joff. I think it's got to go in there. That'll do. Thank you very much. So we'll, we'll go back up to the crane. We'll have one more look up here. What is that anyway? We go to camera. Oh, photo mode. Okay. So you can do like a, a photo mode. Jeepers. Look how high I am up there. That's pretty cool though, it's got a photo mode. So yeah, look how high we are. Jeepers. We're up there, aren't we? So right, let's get down. That was quick, mate. So now we've got to take these to the motel, probably. Okay. No, I'm not going to fast travel. It's a simulator, guys. Looks like there's a place of discovery here, around the corner. You can see the question mark on the map. So we will discover that. have a little look to the garage gas station we'll come to that at some point no doubt let's get back onto our map where we were There's some really good bits of the game in there, but then there's some poor bits in the game, like... Like when you saw the city from the distance, it looked kind of amazing. When you come down to it, it's like, yeah. <laughs> but hey, it's what it is. Like I said, guys, this is an indie game. This is a, a £20 game. So, you know, you're not going to get um, that, that sort of graphics that you expect from a AAA game. Look at my bobblehead still there. I love that, me. We've got a red signal at the moment. There we go. <coughs> so we're heading back to the motel.
another point of discovery there, but I'll get that another time. Trying to drive cautiously because I've got like these big neon lights on the back. I don't know if they take any damage. I kind of hope they would, uh, just for the sort of realism sort of thing. Here's another place of discovery, by the looks of it. Or is it around the back there? Okay. Sorry, mate. <coughs> I am Noodle Cowboy, so, you know, I'm going to crash. I've hit something, look. Probably the sign. It wouldn't be my game, guys, if I don't crash, you know? You've all come in to see me fail. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, it's quite cool that you see the hands, although they do have they do behave kind of weird. Anyway, I'm looking at my bobway. It looks a bit sad today, doesn't it? It looks like he's drooping his head down today. What are you doing, mate? You should be happy. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? If it was like an in-game mechanics where if you drive poorly, your bobblehead sort of lowers his head down like sad. And the better you drive, the, the better his head. So that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Mumbo have his head down permanently. It's a place of discovery here on the left. Is it another garage or what is it? We're gonna find out. It looks like a garage. And they got a job that needs doing, look. I bet that's something we're going to need to be doing soon. Right, let's go back out here. I don't know what that noise is, because I'm not hitting nothing. It just does it when you turn corners a lot. It's almost like a firm bus noise, you know, when you crash in firm bus. Well, you probably not, guys, probably don't, suppose it's me. Yeah, my bobblehead looks a bit sorry for itself today. It's so much better now I've turned off those silly lines on the road, though. Right. So we'll go and do this task. Which will probably be... Um, popping these on the roof of the motel.
park in here properly. Okay, what we do now, open the menu. Got exterior mode, have we? We've got to go out to that, have we? Uh, let me have a look. Okay. So, what do we do now? Drive mode, reset. Okay. Oh, okay. So we do have a crane on the back of our... Okay, so what have we got here? The L? I don't know what's going down, I want it to go up. We'll turn it around a bit. I think it's the camera angles that are the weirdest thing about this game. No. I wish those two would ha be great. Was if the instructions didn't keep coming up. Thank you. Let me figure it out. You know, the part of the fun of the game is sort of figuring it all out yourself, isn't it? Uh, that's up. That's down. So that's extension. All right. Okay. So no, these are. The controls are sort of inverted on this bit. Okay, we want to come up a bit. Don't want to go down, Joff. Okay. The, the, the controls are, are, hot, are hot, more harder than they need to be. What we got now? The M.
Right, couple more to do. So that swings that round, that swings that down, and then this should bring it in. Thank you. So we're getting the hang of it now, we're getting near the end of the, uh, the mission. Right, so we need to come up. We need to come up. Okay, and we need to turn. Bring that out a bit more. Could bring it down a bit. Um, a bit more. No, the other way, Joppy. That's it. Okay, now try bringing it down. bit too low there. Need to come back slightly. Should connect any second now. If I can bring that over a bit more. Bring that up a bit more. And then bring that down a bit more. There we go. Okay, we'll swing that around. We'll bring it down. We will enclose it up. Let's get the E, and that should be the end of this uh, this mission. Thank you. Okay, up we go. Extend it out we go. Oh, we all need to come a bit higher than that, shall we? Okay, slightly over, slightly down, automatically resets the crane. Go to the menu, switch to drive mode. Okay, so we've got to do a reset first, which is that. Okay, it automatically resets it for you. Okay, then you can go to drive mode. There we go, and it locks away all our bits of the Fantastic. Cool. So what do we do now? Clear the construction site. Uh, what does that mean? Um, what does it mean? clean the construction site. We've done that. Maybe we got a park over there by the looks of it.
speak to Hope. First of all, let's go over here. I think we need to park up. That's it. Oh, hit the sign. Right, let's go and speak to Hope, and this should end this mission, I would have thought. Joe won't believe his eyes. The entryway looks better than when this place opened 30 years ago. You did an excellent job. Thank Even you, mate. The recycled neon signs are working perfectly. You can finally see the motel from the highway. I'm sure it will start attracting tourists again. Do you have another minute you can spare? Then let's meet at the old gas station in town. Someone else there needs our help. That's it. Okay, then, guys, well, thank you very much. We've got 25,000 for that. Woo! So we've got to drive to the gas station, which we will do in the next video. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.